thanks for joining me. I was looking through some of my old books the other day and I came across this one, Practical Wood Carving by Eleanor Rowe. Look at the state of it, obviously well used, produced in 1907, so a very old book. And um, I was looking in it and you'll see there's some really lovely photos of the carving school that she was involved in in South Kensington, where people wore smocks and Nice technique though. So in this book, when I was looking, I came across uh, a fantastic old bowl. This is a wooden bowl and it's in the Victorian Albert Museum. It looks ceramic, doesn't it? Uh, but I think that's the patination of the age. Uh, people have fondled the bits that are high and have not been able to uh, touch the, the actual carving inside. And thus you get this differentiation of shiny and, and dull, which gives you that ceramic look. The thing is that what struck me was that this is uh, a classic, very old, we get, we're talking about Jacobite, 14th, 15th century, uh, decorative technique called a thumbnail. A thumbnail carving is a very simple carving from a gouge. There's another picture here of a, of a, um, a, an oak coffer that's um, about 15th century, 16th century. And you can see in here the details of the same sort of moulding. Um, I called it a moulding because it's often used in repeated patterns. It's called a thumbnail because it looks like the top of your finger like this. It's carved almost entirely with a single gouge, uh, something sort of middle of the range like this. And I thought it'd be great to show you uh, this particular technique and then uh, show you also how it can be adapted in a fantastic array of different patterns to make mirror frames, um, in this case like bread or cheese boards. Here's one I did earlier. Um, all sorts of decorative elements where you can bring the, uh, the cuts together or like that, that's a classic thumbnail or I did on the other side here this board uh, stacking them in a different way and you end up with a, a whole different feel about it. Very versatile uh, carving technique, wonderful to practice with, uh, it's good for developing skills and gives you quick simple ways of decorating things for presents and so on, so worth any go at. So in the next lessons, I'm going to show you how to cut the basic thumbnail, some variations um, and the corners, which are quite important from a design point of view. Okay, see you soon.